Hi, in this lesson I would like to introduce you the RGB LED. The RGB stand for red, green and blue. It's the three colors that can create basically any color we want. Now let's take a look at the pins we have right here. We have four pins and this module called RGB LED by, made by SunFounder. Now if we look at the pin numbers we can see the first pin is VCC, the second pin is R which stands for red, the second pin is G, which stands for green, and the last pin is B, which stands for blue. Using the three pins, we can control different color, and by combining them, we can create ultimately tons of color that can create basically a rainbow of colors for us. Now, when we know about the sensor, let's go into our microcontroller and see how can we connect it properly. Once we have the RGB ready, it's time to understand how can we connect it into our Arduino device. First, let's take into look another look into our RGB module. As we said, we have four pins, VCC, R, G, and B. R stands for red, G stands for green, and B stands for blue. Now, let's take a look first at the RGB connections. We have three pins, R, G, B, white, red, and green. Now, let's take a look. R is connected to pin number six, G is connected to pin number seven, and B is connected to pin number eight correspondingly. And then we have the last pin, which is, as we've discussed, is the VCC pin, which is the brown cable. The VCC will be connected to 3.3 volt. You can also connect it to five volt if you want a brighter effect. Now, once we have everything connected and we understand how to connect it into our Arduino, let's go to our IDE to see how can we program it. So now we are connected to our Arduino IDE. As we can see, the dual LED is right here. As we can see, it's white as I set it that way for the lessons to see that the LED is working first. Now, as we remember, our RGB LED have four pins. VCC, R, which is red, G, which is green, and B, which is blue. Now, let's go to our Arduino IDE and walk line by line to understand how everything works. First, we set up the red pin as pin number 6, then the green pin as pin number 7, and the blue pin as pin number 8. As we can see here, R, G, B. Perfect. Now, in the main loop, we run through basic color. First, we turn on the red LED, then we turn on the green LED and the blue LED, and then we start combining, blending color. The red, turn on yellow, turn on orange, indigo, purple, and so on, by turning on different LEDs together at the same time. Finally, we have the color function that we used here previously, in order to set different LED and to write value into it. Now, let's upload our code and see it in action, how does it work? As we can see, the LED is working and changing colors. Every time it will change different color, depends on the place that it's in the loop right here. We can see it's red, yellow, blue, indigo, and so on, purple. It's very, very nice, and it kind of looks like rainbow. You can try to experiment with different color by changing the values. Now, as we previously discussed about our RGB module, it's time to understand how can we connect it into a Raspberry Pi. First, let's repeat what we learned earlier on. On the RGB LED, we have four pins, VCC, R, G, and B. R stands for red, G stands for green, and B stands for blue. Now, let's take a look into our Raspberry Pi right here. As we can see, we've connected it in a very easy way, just one next to each other right here. We have the R pin connected to GPIO number 21, we have the G pin connected to GPIO number 20, and we have the B pin which is then for blue, connected to GPU number 16. Right here we have the VCC connected to 3.3 volt, which you can also connect for 5 volt if you want brighter effect. Now, when we have everything connected, it's time to head into our Raspberry Pi to see how can we program it using Python and make it shine. So now we are connected into our Raspberry Pi IDE. As we can see, we're right here at the terminal. This is live screen of my Raspberry Pi connected to the RGB LED. Now let's take a look into the SunFounder Python folder and find the example file called 02 RGB LED. 02 stands for lesson two. 
Now let's take a look at the code to understand closely how does it work. First we need to import two libraries, one is the RPI GPIO and the second one is the time library. We define the colors that we want in hex format, then we set the pins as we defined earlier. We have right here R, G, B, R, pin 21, G, pin number 20 and B, pin number 16. Now if we go closely right here, we can see that we have a setup function. The setup function basically see, basically set up the pins, set up the mode as GPIOBCM, and for each pin we will set, that, set it up as output and high, which means to turn off the LED. Then we set the pins with PWM format and the frequency we want, which is 2 kHz. Then we will start it, the PWM, using the start command and cycle zero, initial duty cycle to zero, which means the LED will be off. Then we have the map function, which is seems a little complicated, but later on we will understand what it does. It does, basically it will map through the LEDs that we want to turn on and off. In the off command, we will basically turn off all the LEDs. We will set the GPIO out and we will set it to high, which means off. In the set color, we will run through RGB colors and set different bytes and change the cycle. This will create different colors and it will look very much like a rainbow. As you can see, we use the map function that we defined earlier. This map function allows us to run through the LEDs and set different LED color values. Then we have the loop function. In the loop function, we will, for each color in colors, it basically means we loop through the colors and we set the color and then we wait one second in order to change the color. To destroy, basically to quit the software, we will stop R, G, and B. We will stop the entire RGB LED, and finally we will turn it off and clean the GPIO. We will run this forever, and if keyboard interruption detected, we will quit the software. Now, let's try to run the Python command, Python02 RGB LED, to see how it works. As we can see, the RGB will turn on colors and change it. It will look very beautiful, just like a rainbow, as we can see right here. These colors will change through the duty cycle and through the frequency we've set earlier. And this is how you control an RGB LED. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and I will see you next time.